Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel and I'm now going to be answering question number seven, part one from the International A-Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4, October 2020, meant to be in June 2020 exam. And this question here is about integration by substitution and it tells us to use a suitable substitution to find using calculus the value of the integral of this expression that they gave us between these limits. And there's a little, you know, notice in brackets here, solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. Okay, now the reason they, they write this down is because your calculator is able to calculate this um, directly. Okay, most calculators can do that, and I'll show you. Okay, so if I just type in, using this button here, the integral, it has a definite integral here, of 3x, so you've got 3x over um, the square root of 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1, and then I fill in these with the numbers 1 on the bottom and 5 on the top, and I press equals, it's going to give me the answer. That is the answer for this question. So this is something which they will not accept if you just write down the answer. They want to see that you've used a suitable substitution and they want to see that you have integrated in order to find the value. Okay, so this is useful for us to check to see whether we have got the right answer in the end. However, if you just write the answer down, you will get absolutely zero marks for this. Okay, so let's go straight ahead. Now, there are two ways that I can um, deal with this question. Um, two different things I can use as my substitution because normally in most questions in P4 and in C3, 4 and C4 in the past they've been they've gave they've given us what to use as our substitution they said use the substitution u equals whatever to integrate this but in this case they've left it open for us to decide now what we can do here is we can either use u equals the square root of 2x minus 1 that's one option. Or we could use u equals 2x minus 1. Both of them should work. And I'm going to show you both methods. So this is like the alternative method. I'm going to use u equals 2x minus 1 over here. So I'll do this one first. And then I'll go to the second one to show you how they should both give us the same answer. All right, so now when we integrate something, um, with respect to x with substitution. First of all, whatever we're integrating, I'm going to call that y first. So y is equal to 3x over the square root of 2x minus 1. So we have to find the integral of that y with respect to x with the limits given in terms of x, which are 5 and 1. Okay, I'll, in fact, I'm going to write it like this, uh, make it more general first. The limits of x1 and x2 you can say now that is equivalent to the integral of y dx divided by du say dx du times du y dx du will give us the same thing as this but now everything's in terms of u so our limits have to be in terms of u and the y and the dx du, all those have to be in terms of u in the end for us to integrate that. And that will give us exactly the same answer as this. They'll give us exactly the same answer. So I need to express, I need to find what u1 and u2 are. So I know that u is equal to 2x minus 1. So I can say when x is equal to 5, I can say u is equal to the square root of 2 times 5, which is 10 minus 1, 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So I can say that u, that's u1 is equal to 3. And I know that when x is equal to 1, then u2 is equal to the square root of 1, which is 1. Okay, so now I can start filling in these things. So I'm going to have the integral between the limits of 3 and 1. Now y is 3x over 2x, root 2x minus 1, and u is root of 2x minus 1. So I'm going to write this first as 3x over u. Now I've got to find what dx du is. So I've got to find what dx du is. So let me take u equals the square root of 2x minus 1. Let me um, uh, make it easier by squaring both sides. So I have to deal with the square root sign. So that's u squared equals 2x minus 1 
if I make x a subject, I'm going to have u squared plus 1 divided by 2 equals x. So I know x is equal to a half u squared plus a half. If I was to in differentiate this, I get dx du is equal to 2 times a half, which is 1 times u to the power of 1. So dx du is u. So I can replace this with a u as well. And I've got du. And the u's cancel out nice and easily. And I can now replace the x with u squared plus 1 over 2. So I have the integral and the limits are 3 and 1. And 3 times, and I'm going to have u squared plus 1 over 2 du. Now I can simplify this by writing 3 over 2 on the outside. Makes life easier. I have 3 and 1, and this is the integral of u squared plus 1 with respect to u. Now that can integrate easily. So I have 3 over 2 and I have to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power and I have to 1 becomes u when I integrate it and I've got 3 and 1 so now I can put in these limits. So I have 3 over 2, don't forget that on the outside. I'm going to have 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 minus 1 cubed, which is 1 over 3, plus 1. So this should give us 16, as we saw in the beginning. So 3 over 2 times, that's 27 over 3, which is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12, minus, that's a third, plus 3 over 3, which is 4 over 3. And let's see what that gives us. That's going to give us 32 times, that's 36 over 3, minus 4 over 3, which is 32 over 3. And yes, we can see the 3 will cancel, and you got a half times 32, which is 16. And that's what we saw from our calculator. That should be the answer. Okay, so that's using this method. I'm now going to show you uh, the alternative method that I mentioned, just to show that it still works out fine. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, do exactly the same thing, but this time our y, well, the y is the same thing. Our u is different, so there will be some differences here. First of all, as I mentioned, our objective is with the limits x1 and x2 to find y dx, y dx, sorry, and that's equivalent to the integral between the limits of u1 and u2 of y dx du du. So now, we need to, our, our limits, so we can say when x equals 5, u is equal to 2 times 5 minus 1, which is 9. And when x equals 1, then u is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 1. So we've got 9 and 1 as our limits. So we're going to have here the limits between 9 and 1. Uh, y is going to be uh, 3x over the square root of u. And then we've got to find what dx du is. Well, we know that u is equal to 2x minus 1. Well, du dx is easy. It's 2. That means dx du is equal to a half. So I'm going to have times a half. And um, I've got my du there. So now I know my x is equal to also, if I replace, if I change this, I say that x is equal to u plus 1 over 2. Okay. So now I can write this as integral between 9 and 1. And I have 3 over the square root of u times x, which is u plus 1 over 2 times a half du. So let's just get this ready to integrate, simplify a bit more. So this is integral between 9 and 1. I've got 3 over 4. I can write 3 over 4 outside. Because you've got the 3 from here and this 2 times 2, which is 4. And I have u plus 1 over, let's write this as u to the power of a half, du. Now to integrate this, I can split this into two separate terms, two separate fractions. So I have 3 quarters and I have 9 and 1. And this is u over u uh, to the power of a half. So let me just write it like this to show the steps fully. Plus 1 over u to the power of a half du, simplifying these, writing them um, so that they're ready to integrate. I'm going to have, this is u to the power of a half, 
because I subtract the powers, remember? And this is like, I can write it on top as u to the power of negative a half. And I could integrate that with respect to u. Now I'm almost there. I can now integrate this. This is 3 quarters. And I have to add 1 to the power, so that gives me u to the power of 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And this is going to give you u to the power of a half, so it'll still be positive. So it's u to the power of a half. Add 1 to the power, then divide by a half, which is like multiplying by 2. And my limits are 9 and 1. So let's put these in, and hopefully we'll get the same answer, which was 16. So 3 quarters times. Um, this is 2 over 3 times, and this is like 9. This is like the square root of 9 cubed. The square root of 9 cubed. Okay, so that, that means the square root of this thing cubed plus 2 times the square root of 9 minus, and then we have to put 1 in here. Well, 1 to the power of anything is 1, so that's 2 thirds plus 2. Okay, because you put 1 here and 1 there, it's going to give you 1 anyway. So that's 2 thirds plus 2, and we can now try to simplify this. That gives you 3 quarters, and you've got 2 thirds. All right, the cube root of 9 is sorry, the square root of 9 is 3, 3 cubed is 27, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 2 times 9 is 18. And 2 times 3 is, that's 2 times 3, which is 6, minus, and this is 2 thirds plus 2, so that's 2 thirds plus um, 6 over 3, 6 over 3, that's 8 over 3, 8 over 3, so this gives you 3 quarters, and this is 24 minus 8 over 3 which gives you 3 quarters and if you multiply this by 3 you're going to get 72 over 3 minus 8 over 3 um, which gives you 64 yeah 64 over 3 times 3 quarters yeah that's right so you have 3 quarters times 64 over 3. Threes cancel, and a quarter of 64 is 16, which is exactly the right answer. I think this one ended up being a bit more complicated, but we see we got the same answer. Whether we used u as 2x minus 1, or we used u as the square root of 2x minus 1, we ended up with the answer 16, which we know is correct. This one seemed a bit easier. As you can see, there's less kind of steps here. And this one... Um, still gives you the same answer which is 16. Okay so now this is the answer to 7 part 1 using two different methods uh, from the paper. I'm going to take, um, I, th I think I'll do part 2 on another video, this is got quite long already. Um, playlist for the rest of the questions on this paper can be found by clicking on this um, link over here and then a link for integration um, by substitution will be found in this playlist over here. This is going to be a link here for you to substitute to um, subscribe to my channel. And at the top here, you're going to have a card which will take you to another P4 paper. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.